I didn't even want to get involved. Like, I wanted to tweet and be like, oh, I'm so surprised that, you know, bottom-feeding content creators who crutch on the content of others intentionally false-framed what she said so they could try to capitalize on misleading the public and creating drama that's not there. So, hopefully YouTube continues to look at that kind of stuff and just says, like, this is not the kind of content we want on the platform. You know, I I personally think it's bad for the platform. And community notes are coming to the platform. So, good luck making your misleading videos where you misrepresent people. Good luck, because they'll get community noted, and hopefully when it, uh, something gets community noted, it hurts its monetization and I it hurts its viewership. I hope it gets demonetized. When you- to discourage people from profiteering off of basically like, I'm going to say something false, knowing I'm going to get a bunch of engagement of correction. So now when you get community noted, you make no money. I can't wait for that to happen on YouTube. Go ahead. Go ahead. Clip me out of context and false frame me. I, I, I got a sizable channel and community that will have no problem reporting a video like that and get gets community noted, and there goes your money. And that's all we need. It's like, that's that's exactly what I've always wanted. It's like, you, you shouldn't be able to do that. You should be able to just, like, insult and misrepresent and lie about people and make money doing it. It's infuriating. Oh yeah fam, today's video that I'm bringing to you guys right now is going to be a very, very interesting one. And yeah, yeah, I didn't take him out of context or anything like that. Nope, nope, it came straight from the man's mouth. He wants us gone from this platform just for questioning his dumb takes and, you know, questioning his sources. You guys remember those sources? Because I remember, because remember when, uh, remember when he made those comments about Kevin Conroy being absolutely ecstatic for doing Batman on Suicide Squad? You don't believe me? Let me go ahead and play the clip for you. According to sources, the twist on the character into a villainous arc was something that Conroy relished. So that was his choice and respect that you can dislike or not agree with the story elements, but stop acting like you can stand on some sanctimonious podium and say, this is disrespectful to Kevin Conroy. He relished in the choice to do this and the twist on the character. All I got to say for that segment right there is you'll never catch me speaking for a dead man. I mean, I'm, I'm really sorry, but uh, yeah, no, no, I ain't got that dog in me to make up, res- well, not resources, but sources to uh, back up my argument. But, you know, that's how Reforge likes to play his games. But you know what, fam? We're not going to be talking about that. No, 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 no. We're going to be talking about Reforge today and how he wants to get rid of all these salt heads, well, not salt heads, geez, salt creators, because we're challenging his well, sources and his ideas. So, yeah, like I said, fam, go ahead and get ready. Make sure to go grab yourself a nice little snack and a nice little drink. And we're just going to go ahead and uh, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and dive right into this content. Call them morons, which they are. I didn't even want to get involved. Like, I wanted to tweet and be like, oh, I'm so surprised that, you know, bottom feeding content creators who crutch on the content of others intentionally false framed what she said so they could try to capitalize on misleading the public and creating drama that's not there. Like, I was just like, nah, it's not worth it. So just because we had different opinions from Alana just makes us automatically bad people. I mean, to be completely honest, the only real problem that I had with her video is her using situational disability instead of using situational impairment. But hey, you know what? Even though in the guidebook, it even says clearly right here, you know, it's called situational impairments, not situational disabilities. But hey, you know what? I'll be the villain in this story, I guess. Also, Reforge, do us a little favor. Grow some balls and actually call us out by names and uh another favor you could do us too stop hiding behind the members only streams it's kind of sad that you gotta hide from us and pretend we're not gonna even notice this type of crap or shit talking that you like to do to us like they've never done this before except oh no it's like their literal freaking brand like it's their brand to just lie to the public about people hold the phone you know it's kind of funny reforge that you mentioned lying 
Yeah, don't you remember this little tweet that you made about your sources and then you got being called out by people that actually do have sources at Bethesda? You know, the people that actually do work in this industry instead of some YouTuber hiding behind a fucking video camera pretending to know what they know? It's almost like you never really changed, Reforge. Right, they also misrepresented the fact that she was asking for a pause. <laughs> like, she was... Yeah, she wants a pause, but... She quite literally said, like, p the people that argue for accessibility, and this is where she did a great job, they don't want the game to be easier. They just want to be able to play the really hard game, too. All right, this is going to be the last time I even talk about this subject at all. Okay, the reason why a lot of people were upset with her about the discussion of having a pause button in the game is that she was using disabilities as a way to get what she wants. Like, are you kidding me? You could have just made a video, and I would have been behind her 110%, about making a pause function within the game. I mean, there's, for God's sake, there's already a pause function in there. Just have a hotkey to be able already to pause the fucking game. How hard is it to implement it? It's really not that fucking hard. But the fact is, a lot of people were upset she was using disability as an excuse to get what she wanted. My predictions have a good track record of coming true. I said, people like that will get hungry because they'll run out of content. They'll run out of people to make fun of, or you can't make eight videos about the same person because your audience will get annoyed. Oh! Reforge, you say so much dumb shit in just one week, I can farm you for a solid week. Just like I do Harmon Smith, and just like I did Quantum TV. Trust me, it's not that hard as you think it is. In my community, oh, they won't even bat an eye. Because you know what? They love it. They love it when I get on the mic and absolutely dunk on you fucking idiots. So they can think they're flying high right now, but they're getting real close to the sun. And it's the same sun that burn down people like leafy you're gonna overstep you're gonna tick off the wrong person you're gonna take a shot at the wrong person and your time in the spotlight will be yeah, over it's gonna be but do you know what the difference is between us and leafy leafy just love to bully people and just for like absolutely shits and giggles but us over here will actually leave people alone if we're actually asked to, you know, like we were asked to leave you alone and we, you know, we, we left you alone perfectly fine. But then you come around and you started talking some mad shit about us. I mean, some mad shit about us. And then we just thought to ourselves for a second, what's the point of being nice to this guy if he's just going to be absolutely fucking rude to us, even though he asked us to leave him alone? Actually, you know what? Let me make that little correction real quickly. He threw a damn temper tantrum and did not ask us at all just to leave him alone. A fellow content creator actually had to tell us to, like, go ahead and lay off of him. Let me go ahead and play the clip from uh, my fellow content creator. Instead of just being a man and asking us to stop, I'll do it for you, fam. Let's leave this guy alone for a while. He is clearly not in a good mental state. And the way he's talking right now leads me to believe he is completely unhinged. So going forward, I highly encourage everyone, uh, Astro Cyborg, especially you, to ease back a bit. I'm not telling you stop reporting what Reforge says, but at least give him a little bit of time to breathe. He's too prideful to ask of us to stop. So I'll be the bigger man here and ask for the safety of those around him to ease off just a bit. So I'm sorry to say it, Reforge, but we're not as heartless as you like to project us to be. So, I mean, you might as well get a new narrative for us because you're easily debunked on that. So good luck making your misleading videos where you misrepresent people. Good luck right. because they'll get community noted. And hopefully when it, uh, something gets community noted, it hurts its monetization I and it hurts its viewership. I hope it gets demonetized when it gets community noted. <laughs> That is not a good idea. If you thought the copyright abuse that happens on this platform is absolutely disastrous, implementing this into the ecosystem is going to hurt the system even worse. Because people like you and your collective hive mind would like to abuse that function just to go after people that you disagree with. And then, then th there goes the freedom of speech right there, right out the fucking window. And now some of you are probably sitting there thinking to yourself, Gar, there's no way he would abuse this, right? Right? Wrong. He plans to. So now when you get community noted, you make no money. I can't wait for that to happen on YouTube. Go ahead. Go ahead. 
clip me out of context and false frame me. I, I, I got a sizable channel and community that will have no problem reporting a video like that and get gets community noted, and there goes your money. And that's all we need. It's like, that's that's exactly what I've always wanted. It's like, you, you shouldn't be able to do that. You shouldn't be able to just like insult and misrepresent and lie about people and make money doing it. It's infuriating. Hostility is the calling card of a weak intellect. Reforge, do you want to be the next quantum? Because you just put a target on your back. So anytime any of our videos get demonetized or community noted like you're just explaining in this video, you just made yourself a prime candidate. Do you understand that? Do you understand the ramifications that could happen to you? Do you realize the coverage that's going to happen that you do it to any of us? Do you understand what's going to happen? Your image will be tarnished, okay? I, I hope you understand that. Like, you thought it was bad when you were say no to rage? No, no, this is going to be a thousand times worse. We're going to make so much content out of you and milk you to fucking death. Do you understand that? You will be bone dry. We will make sure that you regret even uttering our name or even hinting towards our name. So play nice. But anyway, fam, that's all the content I got for you guys. Like, Jesus, I can't believe freaking even, even Reforge, for the God's sake, would even think about even entertaining this thought at all. God, it's just, it just confuses the hell out of me. But you know what, fam? If you guys enjoy my type of content, please leave a like and comment in the comment section. I always like talking to you guys. And hey, subscribe to the channel. It helps me grow, and I'm trying to make it to 10K by the end of this year. But anyway, fam, besides all that sell stuff, I'll see you guys in the next video, next live stream. I don't know. I'll be streaming this Sunday in the next video. I'm not too sure what I'm going to do, but, you know, I'll wing it as usual. See you guys in the next one. Later, fam.